With the 4th of July holiday quickly approaching, it is really important to remember our veterans and even our neighbors who suffer from invisible wounds like post-traumatic stress disorder. And for the first time in 25 years, the FDA is considering a new treatment for PTSD. FDA advisors voted against what is called MDMA therapy, but researchers and those with PTSD who have tried it say it works and they are hopeful the FDA will give it the green light with their final decision, which is expected sometime next month. Dr. Lori Sutton, psychiatrist and retired military officer, says this could be life changing for so many people. The existing treatments for PTSD, you know, they've helped some folks, but not nearly enough. There's limited improvement, high dropout rate. It's so important for us to push new innovations like MDMA assisted therapy to get the research done, to get them out where they can be. Um, really sources of hope and comfort and courage for those who are suffering. Participants receive one dose of MDMA in the form of a pill once per month for three months. Doctors and therapists are there in the room during the entire process. Wade, an Army veteran, tells us that he's one of many veterans who feel like traditional treatments just weren't working for him. And three years after participating in the trial, Wade says he has seen a huge difference. And I had almost immediate uh, improvement. Uh, probably within a month or two, I, I, I noticed changes. Uh, people around me noticed changes. And those changes have uh, stayed since then. I don't want to make sure that it, people think this is a miracle drug and it's going to work for everyone. It worked for me. And again, this isn't just a pill. It's uh, medication with therapy. So therapy is a big part of it. You are going to be doing a lot of work, but the medication is giving you the space to kind of come at this problem um, that you, you haven't had before. And you can probably look at things a little bit differently and not feel as much uh, uh, pressure or stress to move past some of those old traumas. MDMA is commonly known as ecstasy or molly, and it's listed as a Schedule I controlled substance. So it's illegal right now to use outside of research. But studies show in controlled settings like this trial, with therapists present, it helps people open up, talk about, and heal their trauma by eventually associating it with the feeling of euphoria.